The Avenger nameplate has dressed its share of metal over the years. Now it finds its mark on a mid-sized four-door that Dodge hopes will sway a meaningful slice of family sedan sales into their direction. But it will take more than powerfully carved curves at a heady nameplate for this Avenger to become a hero. As Dodge aimed to build a replacement for its mid-size Stratus family sedan, they stepped forth with the same boldness that defines the rest of their lineup. Taking cues from Tigers and boxing gloves, Dodge brings to fruition the all-new Sport Fuse 2008 Avenger sedan. Available in four trims, SE, SXT, our RT, and RT all-wheel drive, the Avenger boasts the same Dodge gotcha attitude as the full-size Charger. Aggression oozes from the brand's signature crosshair grille and the sinister stare of the large quad headlamps. The hood is stamped with crisp vertical muscle car lines while the upturned belt line makes way for the Avenger's haunched rear shoulders and short rear deck. As finishers, our car's trunk lid spoiler and dual chrome exhaust tips did the trick. The four-door Avenger jumps to life with one of three power plants, a 2.4-liter double overhead cam inline four with variable valve timing, producing 173 horsepower and 166 pound-feet of torque. Next up is an E85-capable 2.7-liter double overhead cam V6 that rates 189 horsepower and 191 pound-feet of torque. Topped off with our RT's 3.5-liter single overhead cam V6, outputting 235 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque. The two smaller engines mate to a four-speed automatic transaxle, while the 3.5-liter is handled by a six-speed automatic with manual shift mode. Though front drive is the norm, Dodge now offers an all-wheel drive-equipped RT, a first for the Chrysler Group in the mid-size segment. Like many all-wheel drive systems, it sends power to the rear wheels only when needed. Electronic stability program with traction control is also standard on the RT all-wheel drive, and it's available on all but the SE. All making sure that power goes where you want it. Our Avenger clocked from 0 to 60 in a respectable 7.2 seconds and through the quarter mile in 15.7 seconds at 90 miles per hour. The 3.5 asserts itself nicely off the line with just the right amount of power for a pseudo sports sedan daily driver. The Avenger RT achieves its street prowess with a sport-tuned all-independent suspension. And though it shares most structure and mechanical bits with the Chrysler Sebring sedan, it felt far more tightly screwed together. The Avenger showed itself to be athletic, nicely balanced, and solid. It stayed relatively flat through the cones and while pushing like most front drivers, remained very responsive overall. Standard brakes are disc drum with ABS on all but the SE. RT trim adds all disc with brake assist. Halts average a slightly long 135 feet from 60 to 0, but were straight and stable. Inside, find an airy cabin that's comparable in size to Camry and Accord. The dash layout is typically American, straightforward with large switches and controls. The deep-set white face gauges are sporty and easy to read, while the steering wheel tilts and telescopes. Side and curtain airbags are standard as well. From the caliber comes the standard chill zone, an in-dash cooling bin for water and soda. Clever heated and cooled cup holders are an option. Our RT came with a standard six-disc CD stereo with auxiliary jack. Upgrades include a hands-free phone, information center, 20-gig hard drive audio navigation system, and rear seat DVD player. That seat has room for three adults, an armrest, and a 60-40 split folding feature. That, along with a front folding passenger seat on all but the base car, more than make up for a somewhat small 13.6 cubic foot trunk. Our Avenger RT has government fuel economy ratings of 16 city, 26 highway. We managed a fine test loop of 24 miles per gallon on regular gas. The 3.5's energy impact score is a good 15.6 barrels of oil per year. But select the 2.7 V6 and use E85 and it drops to only 4.4 barrels a year. That beats a Camry hybrid by half. As for pricing, the Avenger SE starts at $18,895, the mid-level SXT at $19,795, while the RT stickers for $23,545.
and RT with all-wheel drive jumps up another $2,000 to 25,545. Dodge's new Warrior, the 2008 Avenger, is an aggressive entry into the midsize segment. It adds a shot of sport and muscle to family duties without compromising comfort. For virtually any vehicle, that's quite an accomplishment, and it makes the Avenger an everyday hero. Well, I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week, when we'll test two ways to cruise in luxury, the Mercedes-Benz CL-Class and Lincoln's first crossover utility, the MKX. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit pbs.org. To order a DVD or VHS copy of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. Motor Week has been brought to you by cars.com. Let's say you're looking for a car. Cars.com can help. Research, locate, even contact the dealer. Cars.com. Find the right car for you. And by the Tire Rack. Offering a wide selection of tires, wheels, and more. With professional advice and online shopping tools. Plus a national network of Tire Rack recommended installers. Some guys like to relax in a leather recliner. But to others, there's nothing better than cardboard. On concrete. Valvoline. 100 years under the hood. And by Dunlop Tires. The search for true performance is part of our heritage. Dunlop is proud to present the Dunlop Drivers' Cup, where amateurs from around the world compete head-to-head -head in on- and off-road competitions. Information at DunlopTires.com. This program was produced by Maryland Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.